Ever wondered what happened before the first second of time? Today we're diving into the ultimate mystery, the birth of our universe. From quantum fluctuations to cosmic inflation, we'll explore how everything, space, time and matter, came from nothing. Picture absolute nothingness. And no, I don't mean an empty room or the vacuum of space. I'm talking about a state where even the concepts of empty or space didn't exist. Before the Big Bang, there wasn't just an absence of stuff. There was an absence of existence itself. No time, no space, no physical laws, not even emptiness. It's mind-bending to think about, right? Scientists describe this state as a quantum vacuum, but don't let that fancy term fool you. Think of it as a cosmic blank canvas, but even that's not quite right because there wasn't even a canvas. This concept is so strange that even our best physicists struggle to describe it using everyday language. What's really wild is that this nothingness wasn't stable. It had the potential to spontaneously create something. And boy, did it ever. Now, let's zoom into that incredible first fraction of a second. And I mean really fraction. We're talking about 0.001 seconds after the Big Bang. In this impossibly tiny moment, something extraordinary happened. All that potential energy in the quantum vacuum suddenly burst into existence. Imagine shaking up a soda can and opening it, but instead of fizzy drink everywhere, you get space, time, and the fundamental forces of nature spraying out at incredible speeds. The universe expanded faster than the speed of light in a process called cosmic inflation, doubling in size roughly every zero. Zero 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 thousand one seconds. During this expansion, the first particles of matter popped into existence, like tiny actors rushing onto a cosmic stage. The temperature was off the charts. We're talking about heat that makes the center of the sun look like a freezer. Let's talk about one of the wildest parties in cosmic history, the quantum dance that created the first particles. Picture this. The universe is unimaginably hot and dense, absolutely bursting with pure energy. This energy starts doing something fascinating. It begins transforming into matter through Einstein's famous E MC2 equation. But here's the cool part. Particles didn't just appear one by one. They emerged in pairs, with each particle having an antimatter twin. These pairs would usually destroy each other instantly in tiny bursts of light, like cosmic fireworks. But thanks to some quantum quirks we still don't fully understand, slightly more matter particles survived than antimatter ones. For every billion pairs that annihilated each other, one matter particle remained. And guess what? Those survivors became the building blocks of everything we see today, from stars to smartphones. Here's where things get really interesting, and honestly, a bit weird. Remember those matter-antimatter pairs we talked about? Well, they should have completely destroyed each other, leaving nothing but pure energy behind. If that had happened, none of us would be here. But somehow, matter won this cosmic battle by the tiniest margin. For every billion particles of antimatter, there were a billion and one particles of matter. That tiny difference, that row points, 1% extra matter is what makes up everything we see today. Scientists call this a symmetry, one of the biggest mysteries in physics. It's like going to a huge party where everyone pairs up to leave, but somehow one person is left without a partner. Except in this case, that leftover person became all the galaxies, stars and planets we see today. Let's dive into cosmic inflation, arguably the most dramatic growth spurt in history. Imagine blowing up a balloon, but instead of taking a few breaths, the balloon expands from the size of an atom to bigger than our galaxy in less time than it takes to blink. That's cosmic inflation and it's absolutely mind-blowing. During this incredibly brief moment, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light itself. Now, you might be thinking, wait, isn't that impossible? Here's the catch. While nothing can travel through space faster than light, space itself can expand as quickly as it wants. Think of it like dots on a balloon surface. As you blow up the balloon, the dots move apart without actually moving themselves. This rapid expansion smoothed out the early universe like a cosmic iron, explaining why space looks so uniform in all directions today. 
Now we're entering the universe's first kitchen, where the cosmic cookbook started writing itself. Picture the entire universe as a massive pressure cooker, with temperatures hot enough to make the surface of the sun look like a winter day. In this extreme environment, the first elements began to take shape. Hydrogen, the simplest element, formed first as protons captured electrons in a cosmic game of catch. Then came helium, created when hydrogen nuclei smashed together like microscopic bumper cars. This process, called nucleosynthesis, happened everywhere at once, turning the universe into a bubbling soup of simple atoms. What's fascinating is that this cosmic cooking show only lasted about three minutes, but it determined the basic recipe of everything we see today, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium, with just a pinch of lithium thrown in for good measure. Let's explore a time when the laws of physics were more like guidelines than rules. In the early universe, things worked so differently that it would break your calculator. The four fundamental forces we know today, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces were actually merged into one super force. Imagine having a Swiss army knife where all the tools are combined into one mysterious super tool. The temperature was so extreme that particles behaved like they were at a chaotic dance party, breaking all our normal physics rules. Even time itself worked differently. It was so warped by the intense conditions that our standard way of tracking it simply didn't apply. What's really mind-bending is that as the universe cooled, these forces separated one by one, like cosmic divorce proceedings, creating the physics rulebook we know today. Let's talk about one of the most dramatic moments in cosmic history, when the universe finally let light shine through. Picture the early universe as a super-dense fog, where light couldn't travel more than a fraction of an inch before bumping into electrons. But around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, something amazing happened. The universe had cooled enough for electrons to settle down and join with atomic nuclei, forming the first complete atoms. This moment, called recombination, was like the universe's first sunrise. Suddenly, light could travel freely through space, this ancient light is still visible today as the cosmic microwave background radiation, essentially the universe's baby picture. It's like the cosmos finally took off its sunglasses, giving us a glimpse of what the universe looked like in its infancy. Now, while the Big Bang Theory is our best explanation for the universe's beginning, it's not the only idea out there. Some scientists propose the bouncing universe theory. Imagine the universe like a cosmic rubber band expanding and contracting in an endless cycle. Others suggest we might be living in a multiverse, where our universe is just one bubble in an infinite cosmic foam. There's also the intriguing holographic universe theory, which suggests our 3D reality might be a projection of information stored on a 2D surface, kind of like how a 3D movie emerges from a flat screen. These alternatives aren't just wild guesses. They're backed by serious mathematical models and help us tackle questions the Big Bang Theory can't fully answer, like what came before the beginning, or why our universe seems so perfectly tuned for life. Let's venture into the mind-bending realm of what might have existed before the Big Bang. Modern physics gives us some fascinating possibilities to consider. String theory suggests our universe might be one of many membrane-like structures floating in a higher dimensional space. Another idea is the concept of eternal inflation, where multiple universes are constantly bubbling into existence like cosmic soap bubbles. Quantum mechanics even hints at the possibility that our universe emerged from a quantum tunneling event in a previous universe. Think of it like a cosmic version of walking through a wall, something that's impossible in our everyday experience, but totally possible in the quantum world. While we can't directly observe what came before our universe, these theories help us push the boundaries of our understanding and remind us that reality might be far stranger than we imagine. Thanks for joining me on this mind-bending journey through the birth of everything. If you enjoyed unraveling these cosmic mysteries, hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating science stories. Share with friends who love pondering the big questions.